Neil's getting pretty offended by Teen Titans pretty fast. It's Neil hasn't <laughs> seen it all the way through, but it, it's it doesn't get better, does it, Neil? No, no it doesn't. <laughs> no, Fes, Fes goes. Uh, as I recall, that that show was awesome. And then he messaged me again. And he goes, "I only saw the first season, so I need a lot of time to catch up." I'm like, "Dude, why are you why are you defending it that?" Yeah, really. And then he actually he actually tweets to Neil Gaiman, not Neil, saying, "I just oh watched the first sixteen episodes, and it's great." I'm like, I'm like, why are you tweeting Neil Gaiman? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm not kidding. That's that's really what happened. Now I'm assuming Neil Gaiman is at Neil Gaiman. It's actually at Neil himself. Dude. I saw it. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, Neil, I just Neil Gaiman's probably you know got his iPhone or whatever he's got out there. He's like, who the fuck is this moron talking to me about Teen Titans? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I don't ever give redeeming points Teen Titans whatsoever because of the fact that I had been in a, you know, nearly two plus year continuity argument of people arguing on a forum about whether it's in DCAU continuity or not. So have I, and I know your pain. Right, but it's, it, it, is is, in conti- it is in continuity with the crap man, though. Those are in the same universe. Yeah. The, um, the shit goes the with thing- shit. <laughs> Yes. The thing is, um, I will give it one point of being kind of funny when uh, Starfire is just obsessed with mustard. <laughs> what about when she was obsessed with killing people? Remember that, Neil? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was also that was also the episode that blatantly contradicts the DCAU continuity connection. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the one. It's the prequel episode. I'm like, oh, did you know that they actually did an episode where she has the comic character's personality? And he was like, wait, what? And I showed it to him, and like in the first fi- ten minutes, she's like a rampaging monster about to kill people. And it's it, there's this part where it's like there's the people on a balcony, and the balcony's falling apart because he's hitting the support beam. She actually stops, looks up, and it just goes wham, wham, wham again. <laughs> Oh my god, that show is so fucking bad. Isn't that what happened, Neil? That is what happened. And, and, and it just it just got worse and worse because after that we watched an episode where she's all bubbly and so she's like, Stop it, you're hurting me. Yeah, it's the one where it's the one where Robin thinks he's seeing Slade all the time. Tyler Durden. And, yeah, and <laughs> and she's just following him around and, and she's wringing her hand. She's like, Golly gosh, Robin. It's like I couldn't see Slade and I tried really hard to see Slade. It's like it's like, it's like did did you know being exposed to earth culture for 10 minutes suddenly make her an idiot? Pretty much, yeah. I really Starfire and Teen Titans is the same way that Supergirl was in Apocalypse. Yeah. And you wonder why I didn't like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> there are just so many other What's cartoons other bad, that are, what? There are so many other cartoons that are bad that I would watch before I would ever watch episodes of Teen Titans. When Teen Titans was still running reruns on Cartoon Network, this is the same thing with the Batman that I had the problem with Cartoon Network. They would rerun the same season over and over and over and over again for like six friggin' months. They would never fucking change it. And uh, I kept seeing the stupid Mother May I Teen Titans oh, episode. Oh, God! I'm like, oh my god, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Neil, I will what? never show you that episode because that episode will actually make you put a gun in your mouth. <laughs> he has to at least <laughs> say it once. Because it's just, you, can't, you can't make an objectionable opinion or or either way defend or deny Teen Titans without seeing that crap tastically. Yeah, that episode was so bad. Oh my god. I, I, I don't... I think Neil is prepared for that. I mean, Neil has seen the Crap Man. Neil has seen Teen Titans. But the Mother Might May I episode, weaker men have died. <laughs> it, uh, Mike, I don't think that you you should really force Neil to watch. I'm not forcing it on him at all. I'm just saying to have a overall opinion of the series, he needs to watch the worst episode ever. If he decides to watch it, that's up to him. You know. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, what's his name? Oh, God, what's his name? Uh, Tim Robbins didn't make the uh, the warden put the gun in his mouth in Shawshank, but he put the gun in his mouth anyway. You know what? You want to be a part of that commentary track, Mike? What, what the Teen Titans thing? Yeah. No. <laughs> I refuse. I will. <laughs> really? Because Neil and I have been making, well, like, we're riffing hard on this show, like, over and over again. That That's the only joy I get out of it, because, these, <laughs> because it's like, oh, Robin should have been dead by now. Oh, is he dead, Neil? He's dead. Yeah, there's only one goddamn Batman. There is no goddamn Robin. <laughs> it's like, you know, Batman stuff you can explain away for the most part. At least in animation, you, well, 
DCAU animation, you can explain away Batman's, you Most know, of it, yeah. times that he should be dead. You can explain it away. There are other times that you can't, but for Robin, yeah, Robin should be dead. <laughs> over and over and over. And... Oh, God. Can you imagine? And I know this isn't the case because I know that it's actually been proven that the Teen Titans Robin is Dick, Dick Grayson. Can you imagine if the Teen Titans Robin was Jason Todd? <laughs> well, you know what? That's why I always say because he does act like an asshole. Just yeah. like Jason Todd. I mean, I mean, how much of an asshole was he in that in that Tyler Durden episode, Neil? A total douche. I mean, we're not ta- we're talking maximum strength douche. I mean, the the kind of prostitutes. Oh, oh, 